Hi, Deidre here from Our Upcycled Life, and today I'm excited to show you how to create beautiful paper crafts using nothing but scrap paper and old magazines. You don't need any fancy materials or years of crafting experience for these fun paper crafts. With just a few simple techniques and some creativity, you can turn your trash into treasure. Stick around and let's get started on this paper crafting adventure. A pile of old magazines lying around the house instead of throwing them away why not turn them into beautiful pieces of art I'm going to show you how you can create stunning textured paper using old magazines pages and stencils first select a magazine page with an image that you like it could be a photograph a painting or anything that catches your eye next choose a stencil that you want to use for texture I love this Mandela stencil as it creates a beautiful intricate design on the paper Place the stencil underneath the magazine page and use a little piece of sandpaper to gently sand that magazine paper. As you sand, you're going to see the texture from the stencil start to show up on the paper, sanding until you're happy with the amount of texture on the paper. The result is a gorgeous piece of textured paper that you can use in all sorts of ways. It's perfect to add to your mixed media art, junk journals, or even turning into an envelope. So next time you're looking for a creative project to do, grab some old magazines and stencils and give this technique a try. You have a collection of paper scraps that you've been saving and you don't know what to do with? Well, I've got the perfect solution for you. I'm going to show you how you can turn those bits and pieces of paper into a beautiful tape that you can apply to your paper crafts. Start by grabbing some clear packing tape and sticking it to your table, sticky side up. Then roll it out and arrange your paper scraps on the tape. You can use any color, texture, or size of paper that you like, and you can arrange them in any pattern that appeals to you. You've arranged your paper scraps, press them down firmly onto that sticky tape. This is going to make sure that they're going to stay in place and not come loose. Now I'm going to get out my Mod Podge mat and put a thick layer on top of all of those paper scraps. You can use a matte or a gloss finish depending on how you want your tape to look. Once the Mod Podge is dry, you can cut around the edges to create a clean finished edge. Now you have a beautiful piece of decorative tape and you can use it in so many different ways. You can use it as a background for a scrapbook page, you can cut it into shapes, you can use it in card making, or even use it to decorate a gift box or a bag. Don't toss out your paper scraps. Use clear packing tape and turn them into beautiful pieces of paper for your crafts. Get creative with colors and textures to make something stunning out of what you already have. I'm going to make a unique greeting card by gluing that clear packing tape onto some scrapbooking paper. This personalized touch will make your card stand out and is sure to be loved by whoever receives it. Now get ready for a fun and messy craft. Grab some shaving cream and acrylic paint for this project. First, you're going to find a container that's the same size as a sheet of paper and fill the bottom with shaving cream. And then mix up some acrylic paint in a dish using half water, half paint for each color. Stir really well until they're thoroughly mixed together and then you're ready to create some marbled paper. There are endless possibilities with this marbling technique. Mix up different shades and colors to create unique designs that work for any season or project. And this is a great activity to do with kids. It's sure to keep everyone entertained. Now comes the fun part. Pour your watered down acrylic paint on top of the shaving cream and create a unique design by mixing and matching colors. There's no need to worry about creating a specific pattern because every piece of paper is going to turn out different. Use a skewer to gently blend the colors together, making sure not to overdo it as you want to preserve that pattern for when we add the paper. A fun fact about making marble paper is this technique was first developed in ancient China where it was used to decorate the edges of books. Gently lay your paper into the shaving cream mixture, pressing down to ensure that it's covered that whole piece of paper. And you can use any type of paper. I'm using computer paper. Once you've lifted the paper out, use a ruler to gently scrape away any excess shaving cream. Keep going until all the shaving cream is gone and each piece of paper is going to have its own unique look.
Now we're gonna grab a magazine again and turn this into a unique envelope. Simply pick out a page that catches your eye, like these adorable orangutans, and cut it down to size. If there's any unwanted text or images at the top, simply trim it off. To add a finishing touch, you can use a corner punch to create a decorative edge, and then using some craft glue, fold and glue the edges together to create a simple and quick envelope. The best part, you can add a personalized note or a gift card to make it even more special. Now for the next DIY, we're gonna to head to the kitchen and we're gonna grab some cling wrap or saran wrap and prepare to be amazed by this unique painting technique. With just a sheet of regular computer paper and some acrylic paint, you can blend these together to create a variety of colors and create stunning pieces of paper that you can craft with. This project is perfect for kids or grandkids and they can experiment with mixing and blending different colors to their heart's content. While the initial results may seem a little bit messy, trust me, the final product is well worth the effort. Once you've dabbed your paper with a variety of colors, lay a piece of saran wrap over top and use your fingertips to gently rub the paint together, creating a beautiful blend of colors. Peel off the saran wrap and add more paint to continue until you're satisfied with the way the paper looks. If you're looking for a unique way to spice up your paper crafts, try repurposing clothing tags. After using the cling wrap painting technique to create beautiful paper, apply a layer of Mod Podge matte and allow it to dry completely. Next, take some of those saved clothing tags and add them to your paper. You can choose a spot where the colors and the textures complement each other and attach them to the tag with more Mod Podge. Before you know it, you've created a beautiful gift tag that can be used on presents or gifts or even include in your junk journaling or mixed media projects. Now, if you're looking for a way to make ordinary paper look and feel like leather, I'm gonna show you how to do that. With a few simple steps, you can create beautiful and unique texture that will add character to your paper and make it feel like faux leather. I have some instant coffee and I'm mixing it in with some warm water and I'm just taking a sheet of regular computer paper, scrunching it up and gently dabbing that coffee mixture all over it until the paper is completely covered. I dried the paper with my heat gun and then I put it through my printer and I printed off some vintage words. This is available in my Etsy store if you wanna try this graphic. And then you're just gonna take hand cream. That's right, just hand cream and rub it all over the paper. Now I used my laser jet printer. If you're using an inkjet, your ink will smear. So this technique might not work that great with that type of a printer. We're going to be very careful and squish up that paper again, working that hand cream into the paper. Now we're going to unwrap our coffee stained paper, taking care, handle it gently, and add more hand cream if you need to until it's evenly distributed. The result is a beautiful piece of faux leather paper that looks and feel like the real thing. And the best part, this technique is incredibly easy to do and it requires only a few ingredients. I'm going to turn this sheet into a little booklet. you've enjoyed all of today's paper crafts and I've inspired you to try some of these yourself. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and if you love this video, I'm sure you're gonna love either of these next two. Take care.